can't remember if I got my keys done or not. Kind of rude how I just leave them all open like this. Just kind of seems like it's not a great plan. Steel mail. Oh, actually, wow, I have a lot of these special alloy wire. Jeez, I have five of them? Stop giving me comfy souls. I got so many comfy souls. What am I supposed to do with so many comfy souls? Nobody needs this many shoes. Nobody. Nobody needs this, this, this many shoes. Nobody on the planet needs this many shoes. Shoes. Sorry, I'm losing my mind a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. That's just, just having a normal one. A normal mind loss or re... 10, 12, 5. It bad. I'm not- I'm not lying, by the way. I've genuinely, definitely forgotten. I- I don't remember... I don't remember a few things. It's kind of a problem. I don't remember where to repair my weapons. And I also, uh... I don't know if it, the game has ever introduced what these materials are for. It's kind of funny. You just get materials and I'm usually like, ah, oh, it's for that mini game." And sometimes I feel like it and sometimes I don't, but this time... Well, I, I don't feel like it. I also don't know what they're for, and it's just uh, I'm just amused by the fact that I still don't know. I do wonder, like, if it was established and I just tuned it out and forgot immediately because I just was like, "Nope, not doing that this time," or what? In the last two games, I think there was the the racers in Kiwami and wait, no, I think there was zero in Kiwami. I think they scripted the the racing stuff so that it was a, it felt like a sequel to the box the the car racing in Zero little little RC cars. I think well, but if it if Kiwami was a sequel to Zero, maybe they that maybe that entire campaign was added into. Yeah, because Kiwami also had the bug ladies that wrestle, which was from Zero. So I think the cars were also added in. I think both those campaigns were added into Kiwami to add it to its features. And they weren't true to life and all that. Anyway, now I remember what happened. <clears throat> I got this text message. Thank you so much for persuading Nanbasan to be my bouncer. When it comes to Yakuza, it takes one to know one. Thanks to Nanbasan, I can now get things done with fewer fights. Win without fighting, that's the way to go. Unfortunately, those thugs still haven't stopped harassing us here at the casino. They have started threatening us with stun guns and even <gasps> real guns. And the owner of the bikini bar over on Pink Street, who happens to be an old friend of mine, said that they've been harassed by some kind of stalker. It seems he's a hardcore weapons nut, so the owner's uh, too scared to chase the guy away. Now, if you could recruit him, we could kill two birds with one stone. The bikini bar would be safe again, and my casino would get another formidable bouncer. You wouldn't mind going over to Pink Street and trying to recruit that weapons freak for me, would you? So anyway, th uh, this is the... You got it from Dragon Palace? Yeah, I got your message. Great. There's a strange man in here waving weapons around and refuse to answer us when we speak to him. Hopefully you can take care of him for us. I think the scripting just kind of bugged out. Essentially. Hey. Not responding. Especially the weapon nest the casino manager was talking about. Are you from the Dragon Palace? Yeah. Can you show me... Show me toward this guy you're all freaking out about? He's sitting right over there. He has a knife and a stun gun. He won't say a single word, even when we try to talk to him. Alright, leave him to me. So basically the quest popped up on my map, and he responded as a result, but because I didn't receive the text message, the quest didn't actually have its logic in place yet, so I couldn't do it. But I could still walk up to this guy and talk to him and pretend I knew what I was talking about. Because <laughs> my curious still acted like he knew who this guy was. <clears throat> hey, over here. I want to talk to you. You're upsetting the staff. Can we just talk? What? Don't tell me you like Rumi-chan too. I'm telling you, she dances for me. And me alone. Oh no, he's an incel. I can care less about the dancers, just come with me. Punks like you are the reason Rumi-chan's in danger. I have to step up and protect her. But Rumi-chan won't like me dirtying up this place with your blood. 
Let's take it outside, punk. But also, this isn't a room we can fight in. Later games have fewer qualms with that idea. You can throw people through windows. I can put my weapons to work here. Don't worry, Rumi Chan. I'll protect you. You know, it's not more legal to use guns here. Oh, he's using a stun gun. That he's gonna just shoot me. What? <laughs> Eep, somebody help. Well, the loosen your tongue. I think I might have been I think I might have bit my tongue as a matter of fact. I shot you twelve times in the chest. Anyway, what do you want from me? I'm looking for bouncers on behalf of a casino, and we could use your knowledge of weapons. Weapons, you say? In that case, I'm your man. Stun guns, handguns, you name it. That's right. The moment they threaten our bar, I'll pull a stun gun on them and drop my pistol on the floor and they'll shoot me to death with the pistol. And, man, they'll be shocked. Bouncers can use weapons whenever they want, right? Well... Yeah, I guess... Kiryu, no! Really? I can use the stuff at the club, right? Hmm. I wonder if they got anything rare. There's only so much you can buy online. This guy's... Fucking creepy, Kiryu. Stop. Okay, look. The place is in the building in Bark Boulevard. I'll give you the number. You can go there whenever you're ready. Sound good? Shoot, I'll head over there right away. Oh, and the name's Hirano. Uh, Kiryu. That guy needs to go to jail. He's creepy as fuck. Just going around like, Can I use my guns here? <laughs> Rumi chance only for me. Like getting creepy attachments to people, carrying weapons that you're not allowed to even have in this country, and then like fetishizing being able to work at a place where you can then use the weapons more. Like, that's the kind of questions you're supposed to ask people that are trying to become police officers, and then when they answer that way, you're like, yeah, nope. Nope. This is a fucking this guy's a nutso dude that just wants an excuse to kill people. You don't you don't hire that guy. He's a bad. I'm really disappointed you're ruining me right now, Kiryu. Admittedly, this is how you fight, so I don't know. <laughs> Just right back and do it again. I'm starting to wonder if the decreased heat... Does that mechanic exist in this game? I, no, I, I didn't really question it, but... In Yakuza 0 and on... If you use the same heat action again, you get less damage. Like a, it's like doing a combo in Tony Hawk that you've already done before. The more times you do the same moves, the more their their point their uh, point totals drop because you're supposed to do a wide variety of moves. So you kind of cycle through all the different options in your head while you're comboing. One of the things that helps keep it interesting, because otherwise there's just a bunch of moves that exist for no reason because you would just do the one that's worth the most over and over again. And I think. In Yakuza 0 and the other ones I've played, if you repeat the same heat action, you get less damage, because you're supposed to try to do other ones. But I don't know if that stayed... I don't know if that's true when you go back to this game, the earliest one I've played so far. I don't know if that was a from day one mechanic or not. We're going to back to Okinawa, guys! 30,000 yen! Are you buying the plane ticket for me? It costs like 200 yen to go around to go to the other side of Comrade Show, but it's costing me 30,000 yen. Are you... Are we going to the airport? How far away is the airport? That must be the, the airplane ticket. Isn't he, and for convenience sake, he just tells me the price somehow. I promised Tommy I'd save Toma from Joji Kazuma and the CIA. First things first, I need to find Toma. So I want to stop by the orphanage first. The kids will be thrilled now that I'm back in town. Also, there's like dozens of things to do here. I have so many storylines that have all pointed here. Tuna fun news, Sawada. Sawada from the tuna fund here. How have you been? The tuna farming couldn't be going better and we're raising some real whoppers. These farm-raised tuna are fattier and tastier than the wild kind. Hey, my f your phone number is X Y Y Y Z. But 
Pero no, no, no. Down, 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 down. <laughs> Tuna fund. Come to think of it, I did invest in something by the name back in Tuck Comrade Road. You just forget the stuff casually, don't you? Where you spend your money. Hatsumachi North, downtown Ryukyu, Okinawa. That's not far from here at all. I'll have to head over there later. Oh my god! The transition noise plays for the cars start moving and everyone just fucking scatters like, Oh, jump! They'll drive right through us! Our entire crowd! They'll kill us all! A smack of Mac. How's it swinging, Kiryu-san? Just wanted to fill you in on some juicy deets. I got slurped up and slurped up on the other day. I slurp, slurp, don't slurp my deets, bro. I don't, I don't like the sentences. Uh, you know Hatsumachi, yeah? Tons of interesting looking people roaming around there, let me tell you. Speaking of, there's an old dude you might want to try to find. Just concentrate real hard once you do to take in the glory. Worded on the street is you gotta press the R3 button to concentrate. What? Okay. Hatsumachi old dude. There's a lot going on around here right now. I, have, I, I, I pushed several quests until they reached here, so we have stuff to clean up on now, but where's Hatsumachi? Ryukyu. Public Park. Kariyushi. Ryukyu. Hatsumachi. North Hatsumachi. So that entire neighbor- wow, yeah, that entire neighborhood over here counts as Hatsumachi. Somewhat unhelpfully. Welcome back to Okinawa. It's only like the third time we've gotten to walk around a different environment in these games, like a different neighborhood. That isn't. We had it's, uh, it's Kamurocho, Sotenbori, and now Okinawa. Sotenbori heavily featured in Yakuza 2, right? So, like, I think that means. Right from the f first sequel, they already added a second environment. And then this is the third game, so yeah. It was just a thing. The first two sequels both added a new environment. I wonder if that happens more going forward. Or if Soten Board becomes a mainstay. No one gets off scot-free after hurling a banana peel. Maybe. I mean, it features an attack, technically. That was a hell of a time that guy just had. Like, I don't believe in God, but God hates you. <laughs> he exists just enough to hate you. Apparently. No! These minigames don't make any sense to me! Get ready to watch that quick that cutscene three more times. Or not. Maybe I'll just beat the game <laughs> too soon. I don't know how fast he comes back. I don't get them. Somebody suggested that you're supposed to click the one that sounds like an attack of some kind, but like... None of them sound like attacks in many cases? Oh fuck, those are both bad guys. I started going right to kind of avoid the guy on the left, and then I didn't even see the other one entirely. What? What? Oh. Oh. Headbutt war! What the fuck is happening right now? Hey, That came out of fucking nowhere. No, hit the guy! He's down! Oh... Yeah. 
You guys volunteered for this for some reason. Strange choice in life. Big oofs all around. Oh, you're the man from before. I was watching you work your magic. Looks like you're pretty well acquainted with that beautiful brunette. I guess so. However, it seems like a language barrier is preventing you from two from becoming as close as you could be. Which is why I'll offer our immediate handbook for the low, low price of 20,000 yen, only in Okinawa. How's that for local specialty? The intermediate handbook focuses more on direct communication between close friends and even more intimate relationships. I'm sure you've got to, you've just got to have it, right? 20,000 yen. All right, then I'll take it. Very well. Let, then here's your intermediate handbook. Okay. The section's about conversing with a lover. I don't want to go home tonight. I don't deserve your love. These are way too cheesy. You'll be a real player if you can chatter up in English, you know. After all, there are some things you can only say in English that show her how stylish and cultured you are. Our English handbooks will only teach you the stuff you need to know. Nothing less, nothing more. And the more effort you put into it, the more you'll get out of it, guaranteed. By the way, I heard a lot of foreigners hang out in a bar in Hatsumachi called Aqua Sky. Well, as I say in English, have a nice day! Time to go exactly back where I just came from. No 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 more fighting. Goodbye. A place called Aqua Sky. I feel like I've seen that before. Keeping an eye out for signs. Most of these I cannot read. Which is a bit of an issue. Flawless. No, I'm trying to find Aqua Sky. Go away. Sir. Sir, no. This ends so bad for you. You alright, buddy? Here, help, let me help you out. Get that kink out of your back. Ow. That's a really low freaking... Wow. <laughs> Look how low he can go. He was crouching until his, like, shoulders were lower than his butt. Like, holy crap. Unexpected. You alright, buddy? Ah! How's that posture working out for you? There's so many random encounters, and they're in my way, so I don't really always want to read their dialogue, because there's a lot of it. This place matches the address for the tuna fund. Okay, I guess I'm doing that now. Live cat, says the sign. They serve live cats at the to the tuna. Huh? Pardon me, sir, but you are? Wait, is this the office for the tuna fund? The tuna fund? No, sir, it's not. A lot of people have been asking us that lately, though. Is something going on with this tuna fund group? Something's not right. I'll have to ask around once I get back to Kamurocho. Uh oh. Oh no. What will I do without my hundred thousand yen? What a- what a crisis. Where is... Aqua place. I keep forgetting about the really funny save icon that looks like it's from Sonic Adventure. It's just high enough that you don't usually see it. it kind of makes it a less useful notification that the save location. Are you Aqua? I don't know what this place is. Oh, this might be the karaoke place. Not now. <laughs> Cl 
Club Planet. <laughs> These names. Okay, XX. Club Planet. Y N Auto. Little Hatsumachi, right? Isn't that what isn't that what they said? Aqua Sky would be the place to go in Okinawa. Doesn't give me any more information. Maybe it's on the list of places. Okinawaya. Okinawa, just one little syllable thrown in. Aqua Sky. Oh, it's like at the save point? Apparently? A divide L. A divide L. Or L A divide? Did I read that right? Oh no, I saw the wrong... whoops. I saw the wrong flashing icon. I had a feeling something was wrong. Does LA divide? Aqua Sky. I checked the map directly in front of Aqua Sky. I'm a genius. I'm basically perfect. Must find one NPC who is not Dart's person. Where is the only real human? All the other ones are surprise tutorial people. Somebody talk to me. I am practicing my English. Help. It's that woman from before. Oh, we've met a few times now. Funny how we keep running into each other. How about we grab a drink? Could she be inviting me out for a drink? My name's Stacy. Hi, Stacy. I'm Kiryu, Kazuma Kiryu. What a name. I wonder what it means. I wish I knew more Japanese. Here goes! You were always so kind to me, Kiryu. You always help me when I'm in trouble. You know, Kiryu, I don't want to go home tonight. <laughs> he seems to be inviting me somewhere. Unless I'm totally mistaken, there should be some kind of phrase I can say in this situation. It's in the handbook. When someone says they don't want to go home tonight, and they're out drinking with you, and they happen to be a beautiful woman, and the best thing to say would be... I love English. <laughs> I don't deserve your love. But you do cure you more than you know. I'm impressed. You're English. It's amazing. Ever since you helped me, I can only think about you. Nothing but you cure you. Here, please accept this. Will I see you again? What happened to not going home tonight? And that's how the interaction ended. The end. Thanks to that handbook, I managed to speak with her in English most of the time. Even if I was just winging it. You know you wing it with... 
you wing it when you speak normally, too. Hopefully. You don't, like, prepare a speech or something. I don't want to go home tonight. Here's a necklace. For not going with me. <laughs> okay. Like, I think of you all the time, Kiryu. It's all I can think about. I'm like... Her name's Stacy? <laughs> I didn't even remember that. Oh! Kiryu-san, what a coincidence. Wait. Kaede? I thought you were living in Tokyo. Yeah. I loved working at that shop, too. But I finally realized my calling. What's that? I want to manage an inn in Okinawa. It'll be a place where the tired fathers of Tokyo can come and take a load off. An inn? Where'd that idea come from? The customers at Urn Angel said that Tokyo wasn't the right place for me. They told me, Kaede-chan, you should go home to Okinawa and start your own business. Wait, doesn't that mean that they don't think you're cut out for Tokyo? Huh? I don't know about that. When I told my customers my idea, they all got super excited and said they'd absolutely come visit me. I believed them when they said that. I'll make a place where the tired fathers of Tokyo can relax when they come to Okinawa. Is that right? Not a bad idea to follow your heart, make your dreams come true. And when I talked to Momiji-chan about it, she said that we could do it together. You see, my family used to run their own inn. But a bunch of hotels opened up in the same area and they had to close down. I know a lot about running an inn, so I should be able to help Kaide channel with hers. I'm sure it'll go well if we work together. An inn that serves the hardworking men of Tokyo. It's not a bad idea. Still, if we want to get it up and running, we're going to need some money. I wonder if we should take out a loan. That's true. I think you can get it started without borrowing too much money, though. Huh? But how? Kaide, your friend's family used to run their own inn, right? Well, yeah. If there are hotels all around that area, that means it's a good location. In that case, you can just remodel the old place to fit your needs. Oh yeah, I never thought of that. Huh? You'd be okay with that, Momiji? It's totally fine. Plus, my parents can help us with it, too. Oh, right. Then the money I earned in Tokyo should be more than enough. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Man, you're so smart. I don't know about that. I couldn't tell you if it'll work out. I'm sure it will. I can't thank you enough. You've done so much for me already. Thanks to you, I've discovered my calling. Oh, I know. Here, take this. It's something I brought to in, bought in Tokyo. And why is everyone giving me, like, girls' accessories as gifts constantly? <laughs> You've got to visit my inn once we open. You can stay for free, of course. <laughs> See ya! <clears throat> Very specific filter. I'm opening an inn in Okinawa. But not just for anyone. It's specifically for all the tired husband fathers of Tokyo. So from one town, and they need to be husbands. I mean, they need to be fathers for some reason. Just feels odd. So when it's, uh... Frame that way. Oh yeah. Bounding throw. Circle after a finishing blow, and it requires heat. And also I didn't have it yet. But I remembered reading it, which made me feel like I had it. So I was trying to do it anyway. But also it requires heat, which I also think I forgot, so... I'm just a genius, basically. Well, uh, maybe you heard something about it being in this area. Nope. Don't think so. Whatever ends up uh, buried all those years ago is probably in still in the ground. Besides, isn't Yamashita treasure just an urban legend? Well, yes, well, I suppose this area has changed quite a bit over the years. Hmm. Now I'm in a pickle. I need to be heading back to Tok Tochigi next week. I have no idea where to look next. We keep finding confused old men that are back in town and don't know what to do. <laughs> Something wrong, old timer? I couldn't help but overhear you. Oh, well, I'm actually on a search. Treasure hunts, more like it. 
A treasure hunt? Really? Why, sure. Here, take a look-see. I've got me a map and everything. How did this end up in your hands? I've had it this whole time. See, this is a map to the treasure my friends and I buried while we were stationed in Okinawa during the war. Okay. And what was this treasure? It was... Well, we were, we were being evacuated at the time, so we buried whatever we couldn't carry to light the load. Wait, you never heard of this one? The story of the Yamashita treasure. You know, all that gold the army buried. Well, this map has the location of that very same treasure. We all said we'd come dig it up after the war, but we got so caught up in the... I guess you'd call it the aftermath, that we never made it back to what, to what was ours. Now, I know I ain't got much time left in this world, but the thought of claiming the treasure still haunts me. Please, will you help an old man find his lost fortune? It's right here on this map, I swear it. I'm, I, or I'm as good as dead. Treasure hunting does sound like a nice diversion. Okay, I'll help you find what you're looking for. Many thanks, young man. Once we find this treasure, I'll make sure you get your share. Well then, here's a copy of the map. Let's split up and search. Name's Tabayashi, by the way. I'll give you my cell phone number, too. Give me a call if you find anything, you hear? Got it. I'm Kiryu, by the way. So, all I have to do is follow this map? Mm-hmm. Make sure to call me when you find the treasure, too. Don't go pulling any fast ones. Oh, I won't, especially since I'm loaded as shit and money barely affects me because I don't really appear to pay rent or eat food or use the restroom. I'm basically magic. Copy of an old Okinawan map. Apparently it leads to some hidden money. Can I look at it closer? So the road crosses a main street, then curves, and then it crosses a water. Oh, it's just that guy now. They're so densely packed together. It's almost certainly in this area. Because the river would have meandered over time. Unless they had already built this stuff up. Probably here, because you could dig here. What's this? Oh. Wow, that was invisible. I'd be able to, I'd like to be able to look at this better. It's just like up on a hill. The river turns left. That's Cabaret Club. I didn't mean to. I'm leaving. No. Oh, that's not the exit. No. I guess we're playing Cabaret Club today. 
This is where it was. I forgot where this place was completely. All right, well, let's play this for a bit. Man, gorgeous. Yeah, I love gorgeous girls. Only the gorgeous kind. If you don't have the word gorgeous that describes who you are as a person, then fucking die. You better die in a ditch because you're not gorgeous. The only, the only popular characteristic in Okinawa. If you're cute, you might as well go in a blender. Like, goodbye. Are you beautiful? Are you elegant? Die. Only gorgeous. Let's talk strategy. What would you like to know? Coordination? Tell me more about coordination. So you can have the girls coordinate their clothes and make them an accessory to give a particular vibe. Expenses reduce revenue. I'm probably fine. Between each service run, you can conduct training. Training allows you to improve the service stats of the hostesses, so it's important to train consistently. Looks, smarts, and charisma, as well as motivation and stress can be affected by training. All are important factors when ta uh, taking customer service into account. Some customers pay more attention to these subtle details as opposed to what outfit she's wearing. After all, it's what's on the inside that counts. However, please be aware that excessive training will make a hostess stressed out. This can be remedied by having a hostess rest during the break. Use both coordination and training to cultivate an excellent hostess. Remember, we're aiming for the top here. Let's give it a try. Training. Trivia drills, talking tips, free time. How do I make her more gorgeous? work on your presentation. Makeup, hair, posture, all these things send certain signals to a man. Oh, I forgot her name's Cheese Balls! Oh, then I can't wait to hear all those juicy secrets. Hmm. I honestly think you have a ways to go. Really? I thought I was beautiful just the way I am. Oh no, I'm a bad person. Oh no, I'm just stressing people out and making them doubt themselves as people. I'm a bad person. Just, just go out there. Knock them dead. Gorgeous. Now, now they want to be, now they want cute idols. Who needs regular babes? You can have it. Gorgeous babes. So now people are suddenly talking about cute people in addition to that. Keeping herself occupied. Eh, people are still asking for gorgeous too, so I shouldn't have to change anything. I'm being lazy. I like him cute and innocent so I can turn him to the dark side. I... Distressing? Cute girls make me all fu fuzzy inside. Refinement. Laid back. Oh no, they want everything except gorgeous. Well, she still has somebody. Oh no. Nobody wants a gorgeous person anymore. Their time is over. But also, I would like to leave, so... Bloop. <laughs> eh. She's not alone. She's fine. Damn it. No, you have to scope out the club. It's mandatory. See, she's fine. 
She still she still has a dude. That means we're winning. I guess you eventually have a bunch of girls, so you have a bunch of different people to check on uh, collectively. And you're trying to satisfy all your clients, but I only have one character I'm tracking here, so there's not much happening. Apparently she ranked up, which is a thing of Koji can see and measure and experience. I can tell you both been putting a lot into it. I'm sure. That's one way to put it. If you mean fast-tracking in the process of leaving this room, basically. What do you mean she was requested two times? She had a person all three times. I could tell. You can't... you can't trick me. Also, I negged her. So thanks, Kiryu, for that on my conscience. <laughs> I think you have time, room for improvement. Really? I thought I was gorgeous just the way I am. And then Kiryu just doesn't address that. He just leaves it. It's like, no. Kiryu. You're breaking my heart. Oh, my heart. Got a map that leads to the Yamashita treasure. Guess it's time to go treasure hunting. That's all it says. I wish it was easier to look at this item. Just in general. Cross compare. Main roads, crossroads. Hmm. I'm not even really sure how I would confirm that I found it. Or how one, like, finds it. Hmm. I'm thinking I'll put this one on the back burner for a bit. I have other things to do. Maybe I'll stumble across it. The maps don't line up because it's such an old map. Oh! Well, ain't this a wild surprise? What are you doing all the way out here? I should be asking you. Weren't you supposed to be in Kyushu? Well, sure, I was for a while. Walked all over Fukuoka. Kumamoto. Kagoshima. Trying on all different ra ramen joints. Then I heard the Okinawas got some fine taste in pork. So, to make a long story short, I ended up over here, on a quest to find the best Okinawan soba. You wouldn't happen to have any clues for me now, would you? It's a secret. Actually, there's a pretty good Okinawan soba stand over in Kariyushi Arcade. Why don't you go try it out? As a matter of fact, I think I will. Thanks a lot, big guy. Why is he running? That's a weird thing to do. Alright, bye. He came all the way to Okinawa just to research noodles. This guy's a bit of a noodle himself. Bam! Burn, destroyed, thousands dead. Benny, why is there, there's like five sub stories standing on the same sidewalk? It's weird. <coughs> it's been years since our last dine and dash. How do I handle this? What happened? Wow, a dine and dasher. We haven't had one in almost 20 years. Hey, there he is over there. Is it him? Oh, he's so skinny. I think it's still him, though. What do I do? I can't leave the shop. But I can't just let him go, either. Did you catch the dine and dasher I'm sure I can find something to pay you, which Fine. I just need to catch him, right? Sorry to drag you into this. I'll make it worth your time. It's gonna be the- his back was turned, so I couldn't see who it was. I bet it's the same guy. And he's like... Yep. The sheer amount of dine and dashing is done has, has like thinned him out because he keeps running. Ah, fuck, Kiryu. Mm, 
Come on. There we go. Ah, shit. Cure you. This is a complicated piece of area to run through. Nice little straightaway. If you bump into like anything, you lose. I have to be really careful. Oh, come on. He ran straight through him. Fucking cheater. Oh, that was down to the wire. I had nothing left. you <laughs> hey it's me you know the old comrade for dining dasher he still wears his shocking shirt even though it shouldn't fit him anymore wait you're that dining dasher but oh i tried but i just couldn't give it up i dashed my way across japan and well look how much weight i lost i run a popular blog too maybe you've heard of dine and dash diet going around mm -hmm. something wrong Never mind. Just come back to the shop with me. This is very illegal. Pork rib noodles, bitter melon stir fry. It comes to 2300 yen. If you can't pay, you can wash dishes for me. I'm so sorry, I just can't help myself. I'll let you go this time. But remember that dining and dashing is a crime. Don't ever do this again. Thank you for bringing him to justice. I just don't know what kids are thinking these days. What a dick. Like, so much for the whole idea that he, like, had grown a <laughs> conscious last time. I knew it'd be you. You're the only man who can catch me. Look, just give it up. <laughs> oh, yeah? My new diet has made me famous. I even got a girlfriend. And the manager from that gelato place, remember? Got a thing for strong women. I sort of fell for her when she was scolding me. Now we're on vacation together. <laughs> so, what I'm trying to say is, I'm done for real. Today marks my final dash, because no matter what thrills I get from it, it can't compare to the special lady in my life. That was the wrong lesson to take from that. I don't get it, but at least he's done. He said that last time, and he was lying! Okay. He hit a point where... He, just a beautiful woman in his life, and he, he has to stop his dining and dashing. What? <laughs> He's supposed to stop his dining and dashing because he was doing crimes on people. I thought that, I thought that feeling he felt inside was guilt. When he, was, when he really felt the consequences were actually affecting the people around him. But instead, she dated him, and he kept doing it. And it's like, what? You're, don't date him. What? So many of these just stay open. Ta-da! I got like half of them overall, really. Or more. Doing alright with that. Still not nighttime, still can't see the ghost. That's the first part of the weird secret legends of the region quest. I've done all the other ones, basically. But the first one has just been like waiting for nighttime to come. This endless foreshadowing. If only I could just wait till nighttime on the fly, like you do whenever you want to go to the Millennium Tower. If you count the number of visits to the Millennium Tower, it's been a while since I was last here. Which makes it weird that people like that, uh, English person, the English teacher later was like, Oh, it's you from a minute ago. It's like, I haven't been here in weeks, I think. Cross Ord Dog Rocky. Crosser Dog. What's a Crosser Dog? Oh, Cross Bread Dog. That's just that B is unreadable. Okay. I don't know why that sign's there, but okay. What is this place? Oh, there goes the label. Uh, I can't tell what they serve here. Or what type of place this is. Is it even a dog place? Looks like a shoe store. What does crossbred dog Rocky have to do anything with anything? Huh. 
What's going on here? Hit and stop, not hit and run? I heard about a guy doing a hit and stops on Ryukyu Boulevard lately. What? Just jumping in front of cars and forcing them to pay his medical expenses? That's nothing new. No! The hit and stop guy is way worse than that. He drives around aggressively like he's gonna hit someone and then he slams on their brakes at the last moment. Then he claims he gave him whiplash or damaged his car or something and uses that to extort you. Really? This weirdo just cruises through Ryukyu Boulevard? Look out for a black sedan near this intersection. That's what the guy drives, apparently. Okay, got it. I'll keep an eye out for any black sedans. A black sedan doing hidden stops on Ryukyu Boulevard. Guess you could make anything a scam these days. Hit me! Kill me. That's, that's blue. Come on and give it to me. Come for me. Claim me. Kiryu's had a hard life. If you don't kill him right now, strike him down here and now. He's gonna have to play a, do a whole extra trilogy on top of this so far. We're already four games deep. You're gonna make him play three more? Whoa. That's not a black sedan, that's blue. That guy almost hit me. Hey, the hell you doing? Did you guys see how he jumped in front of me? Oh no. Looks like you damaged the car. You have any idea how much this car costs? You better pay for this. How could I have damaged your car if I didn't even touch it? You trying to make me a wise? You trying to be a wise ass now? You got any idea how much this car is worth? It's gonna cost five hundred thousand yen just to fix this. I can afford that, but I won't give it to you. Oh, my neck's starting to hurt. I think I might have whiplash. I had to slam on the brakes thanks to him. Well, part of this was yo was our fault. We could sell this for a hundred thousand, or we could go to the cops and you could pay for it all. Why would I pay you? The car isn't damaged. And why should I believe you have whiplash? Uh -huh. What did you say? I'm trying to let you off easy and this is how you treat me? You've got guts, jerk. Well, if you won't cough up the cash, I'll just beat it out of you. Oh no. Oh no. They always make this mistake. They always make this mistake. They need to stop making this mistake. I don't want to keep hurting people. I'm like Carol in like, uh, season 8 of Walking Dead? Is that when the crisis was happening? I don't know. It's been a long show. Like, I just don't want to keep hurting people. Why won't they let me stop hurting them? How's the whiplash treating you? Ah, who are you? I told you what to stop doing hit and stops. I heard of guys who jump in front of cars, but actually trying to run into people? And even demanding repair money? Well, people usually get intimidated by the luxury car, so nobody puts up a fight. They usually just pay. You're actually the first person who hasn't paid us. What's your deal, anyway? I guess this just isn't your day. Okay, uh, we apologize. To make up for the trouble we caused, please accept this. Well, that was easily taken care of. Anyway. I really wish that Kiryu then responded by beating the shit out of that car, though. Like, uh, as a revenge. It's like, haha. Oh, there's the OPA building. I'm supposed to meet somebody there. Go, go full Street Fighter on that car. Just be, just destroy it. Opa. Opa. I was supposed to meet somebody in front of Opa. I'm a thug. Blah, blah, blah. Hundred grand. No. That is a pineapple bench. That is a pineapple bench. Yamamoto. More like Yama... No, no. Ow. Rude. Ooh, 
He's in like, is he gonna ever, ever get up? All right. Hey, also you're in this fight, I guess. Hello. How you doing? Interesting strategy. I'll just circle around behind him. If I move slow enough, he won't see me moving. Drax. Gonna try again? I don't know why sometimes it does a tiger drop and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. Wow. I'm actually starting to get serious money. Like, entire quests revolve around less money than this, usually. I'm supposed to meet somebody in front of the open building, aren't I? Am I imagining this entire situation? Opa. I told the editor I'd meet him in front of the OPA building downtown. I'll bring the Shonen 5 with me just in case. Ah. It's because the Shonen 5 is not currently in my inventory. BRB. So you trigger the quest by having the right item in your inventory. At least that's my current read on the situation. Back to it. Opa. Yep, he just materialized like magic. Kiryu san. Oh, I'm so glad you showed up. Remember me? I'm the editor from Shonen 5. Hey, kind of surprised you really are waiting here for me. Man, I can't believe I forgot to ask for your cell phone number. Silly me. I was starting to give up hope of ever seeing you again. So how's our manga artist? Did you find Tirano's address? I did. There's just one problem. What is it? Tirano-san's relatives aren't famous doctors, but famous pharmacists. Guess you had some wrong information then. Yeah, for sure. In any case, the Hirano family pharmacy is in that nearby shopping arcade, but we may not want to head there just yet. Why? Is there some sort of problem? Well, earlier I thought I saw Hirano-san standing in front of the train station. I think he's here in Okinawa. You sure it was him, and not someone who looks like him? Yeah. I'm sure of it. I wish I could have chased after him, but I had to wait here, in case you showed up. He was wearing that giant backpack he always wears, there's no mistaking that. Fine, but even if that guy with the backpack was Hirano, what's he doing in Okinawa? I don't know, but he didn't look happy. I couldn't help feeling even more worried about him. I feel terrible asking you to do this, Kiryu-san, but please, would you go meet with Hirano-san's family? Does that mean you're going after Hirano? I know I should probably ask you to find Hirano-san, but I'm his editor. I've got to help him. I don't think we could convince his parents of anything if something terrible happened to Hirano-san. Shouldn't you be more worried about getting, getting Hirano-san's manga serialized in Shonen 5? I'm more than just an editor, I'm a human being. As a human being, I've got to look out for one of my own. Besides, I'm the one who brought Hirano-san into the wonderful world of manga. If something happened to Hirano-san, I don't think I could ever be an editor again. Damn, I thought you were only worried about your job. But underneath it all, your spirit is manly as hell. <laughs> I'll look out for Hirano-san. Please, explain the whole situation to Hirano-san's parents. Alright, I will. It's inside the shopping arcade. Inside the shopping arcade. Just somewhere in here? I'm looking for a pharmacy? Quickly!
That looks like a pharmacy, right? No. Oh, I don't even know you can go in here. Wait, did it just say drugs? Maybe this is a pharmacy. Oh yeah, kinda, maybe. Energy medicine, yeah, I guess so. Try roll, S. <laughs> Welcome, what can I get for you? Oh, no, I don't need anything. I'm here to talk to you about your son. My son? You know my son, Sutumo? Yeah, I do. Truth is, something crazy happened to him in Tokyo. Something crazy? It's Sutomu, alright? What happened? He's fine. Some people think this is good news, actually. Err, I am an anime boy, look at me. <laughs> that's, that's alright. He won the Shonen 5 Grand Prize. I know you might not think it's a great accomplishment, but in the manga world, this really is a big deal. I don't know that much about manga, but I do know this. There are hundreds of thousands of people aspiring to become professional manga artists. It's incredible that your son and his manga were chosen out of the many hopefuls. Well, hell, even the kids I'm looking after read Shonen 5. One of them wanted to read it so badly he asked me to pick up his copy while I was in Tokyo so he could read it early. They are quests that are tied to each other. Gotcha. Because the dialogue is in this other quest, so like me getting the the kid the book for my kid is what triggered the other thing quest starting where the guy like dr drops a bunch of manga. They seemed weirdly related, but didn't have any connecting plot. But they but they had yeah, the script is tied to each other. Despite that, your son's trying to throw away his dream of becoming a manga artist because of what you might think. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be a doctor. But his dream of becoming a manga artist is just as good. It's my fault. I put so much pressure on him. You wanted him to be a doctor, right? That's right. For generations, every member of our family has followed a career in medicine. Whether that meant being pharmaceutists, uh, pharmacists, nurses, or medical researchers. Despite that, not one of us has ever become a doctor. So that's why you were hoping your son would become a doctor. Sutomo had the grades and the potential to become a doctor. I made sure he wasn't distracted by anything silly when he was young. He needed to focus on his studies after all. And manga was one of those silly things? That's right. Sutomo always loved to read manga. Truth be told, I bought him lots of manga when he was a child. But as soon as he started junior high, I made him throw away his entire collection. He had hundreds of manga volumes. And you made him throw away every last one in the garbage? Not the garbage. I made him throw them into the Kobuchi River. I thought that doing so would make him hate manga and focus more on his studies. No surprise he's reacting the way he is now. If Tsutomu really is going to throw away this amazing opportunity, then it's all my fault. I can see where you're coming from. Any father would want their son to fulfill the dreams he couldn't fulfill himself. No, your kids shouldn't be your surrogates, though. It's not like that. My lifelong dream was... It was... Huh? You okay? What was your dream? To be a manga artist! Ah! It's nothing. My, dreams don't, my dream doesn't matter. If Tsutomu wants to follow his dream and become a manga artist, then I don't want him to give it up for, for nothing. If he's got a dream, I want him to chase after it. You might be able to make it in time. Huh? I think he's here in Okinawa. Someone saw a guy carrying that huge backpack of his. A backpack? I thought of something while we were talking. I think he's going to use the same method you made him use when he had to throw away all his manga. He's going to toss his dreams in the river. No. In the Kubochi River. More than likely. What am I standing around here for, then? I've got to find Sotomo. Pronounced it differently every time. Looks like Hirano's father rushed off towards the station and Kubochi River. Oh, no! Dude, I'm in the middle of a moment. Can you, like, not? Alright. 
God, Kiryu, you just have one of those faces. Hey! I did my new circle finisher. You do a finisher, then hit circle, and bam. Bad news. Go away, I've got things to do. I've got to see this guy follow his dreams or not. Want to get scared out of following his dreams because it's parental legacy. We're totally going to find out that dad had some kind of dream that he had to give up on because of this family tradition of failing at being a doctor. <laughs> They don't even have a legacy of being doctors, they have a legacy of somehow failing to be doctors, which I mean, like, I can see one person doing it, but like, it, it's like a life, it's like a multi-generational thing. Everyone strives to be a doctor and fails? Huh. Oops, he's over there. It's a really particular pattern for your family to have. It's not really worth forcing them to commit to it then, if, you, if, if the legacy of your family's failure like that. What are you doing? Oh, you're the guy who helped me in Comrade Show. Did you seriously come all the way to Okinawa just to throw the stuff in your backpack into this river? Wait, what are you talking about, Kiryu-san? What's he going to throw away? Hirano's backpack is packed full of copies of Shonen 5. What? Is that... Is that true, Hirano-san? You know, no matter how many times you throw your manga into this river, you won't be able to get over your pain and regret. How do you know about? I heard it from your old man, who I beat here because he's old. Shit. What the hell is happening here? Hirano san, you bought all the Shonen Fives just to throw them away? Why? He probably didn't want his dad to know about it. His dad might have recognized his manga in the magazine. Also, it, his name. <laughs> That's why he bought all the sh copies of Shonen 5 he could, to throw them all away at once. That doesn't make sense. Why would he buy up all the Shonen 5s of Kamurcho then? You got a point there. Is that right, hirano san You're going to throw away these magazines to keep your father from finding out? I mean... Yeah. I didn't want my father to know about the manga thing. But... That's not why I bought them. So why would you buy so many Shonen Fives just to throw them all away? He's giving up on his dream of being a manga artist. Huh? Hirano should have been over the moon to win that award. And instead, he only felt conflicted. He thought he had to become a doctor to fulfill his family's expectations of him, and tried to suppress his desire to go pro with his manga. Isn't that right, Hirano? So... To get rid of the conflict he's feeling, he bought as many issues of Shonen 5 as he could, and tried to absolve himself of his self-perceived sin by throwing them away. He thought it was a sin. Throwing away something you love so dearly is something Hirano considers to be a sin. Because of the sin of his, he felt he had to force himself to give up on his dream. You're right. It's just as you said, Kiryu-san. It's a sin. I don't have the right to draw manga. But why would drawing manga be a sin? I don't want to give up on my manga, but I have to, if I'm going to become a doctor in the future. Hirano-san. You don't need to give up on your dream. Tsutomu. You don't need to throw your dream away. Dad. Dad? I'm so sorry, Tsutomu. I had no idea you were pushing yourself so hard. You were lying to people about being, about being from a family of doctors. Wait. I don't have to give up on my dream. What do you mean, Dad? You should become a professional manga artist. Dad? But why? Tsutomu. Do you know why I made you get rid of all your manga all those years ago? You wanted me to focus on studying, right? That was part of it. But to tell you the truth, I was afraid you'd make the same mistakes I did. What? The reason I bought you so much manga when you were young 
is because I love manga more than anyone. Wait, you do? You do? I always wanted to be a manga artist, but I never had the talent to go pro. I submitted my work to dozens of manga contests, and I never won a single award. Hell, the Shonen 5 contest was so out of my league I never even considered it an option. Dad. Despite that, I kept drawing my manga, to the point of shirking my studies to become a doctor. In the end, I couldn't fulfill either goal. That's how I ended up inheriting the family pharmacy. I didn't want the same thing to happen to you. Wait, so you mean... You've got what it takes to be a professional manga artist. As someone who once dreamed of becoming just that, I know just how wasteful it would be to throw it all away. Wait, so you support Tsutomu, uh, Tsutomu san's efforts to become the manga artist? Of course I will. If Tsutomu wants to become a manga artist, then it's my duty as his father to believe in him and give him all the support he needs. You're an editor of Shonen 5, right? I trust you will help my son down the path he's chosen. Of course, I'll do my best. This is fantastic, Hirano-san. Now nothing's stopping you from making the manga you love. Let's get right to business and start talking about your new series. I'm sure it'll be the greatest work yet. Dad, thank you so much. You've chosen this path. Now give it your all, Tsutomu. I will. I swear I will. I'll make my debt as an artist. I'll make my debut as an artist at Shonen 5. Thank you so much, Kiryu-san. You've done so much for my son and our family. Don't mention it. Um, here. I have my magazines. The manga I created is in this issue. Please read it. And show it to everyone you know. 50 issues of Shonen 5. That's too many for all the kids I have. Thanks. I will. Good luck with your career. I hear being a manga artist is pretty tough. Give it your all. Both for yourself and that dad of yours. Aw, dreams. Everyone's happy. I have 50 copies of Shonen 5- 51 copies of Shonen- Where do I even put them? Where do I do with these? Is it listed as one item in my inventory? Shonen 5. There are 50 copies. 50, 50 issues of Shonen 5. This should make Taichi happy. 